हेलो मेडिकल एंड नर्सिंग मास्टर्स सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट यूअर क्रश ओ माई गॉड इट इज नॉट दैट क्रश अबाउट द एक्टर्स सिंगर्स मॉडल्स इट इज अबाउट द क्रश इंजरी सिंड्रोम ओके वट यू थॉट यू थॉट दैट वी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट गर्ल्स मॉडल्स नो 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 टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रेबिडो माओलाइसिस और क्रश इंजरी सिंड्रोम ऑल राइट सो वट इज क्रश इंजरी वेन एवर देयर इज सम कॉजेज कॉजेज इंक्लूडिंग टू टाइप्स ट्रोमेटिक कॉजेज नॉन ट्रोमेटिक कॉजेज वेन एवर अवर मसल्स फेस अक्यूट इंजरी फॉर एग्जाम्पल अंडर द ट्रोमेटिक कॉजेज क्रश इंजरी वेन एवर ए हैवी ऑब्जेक्ट ए वेट इज दैट इज अप्लाइड ऑन द मसल्स Uh, weight gets on the muscles our muscles get compressed and gets damaged or injured for example if an earthquake comes now this roof will fall over me and will crush me under its weight heavy weight that will cause uh, we can say a crush injury accidents car accidents roadside accidents sports injuries burn patient have more the surface area more the burn more severe the category more the uh, injury of the muscles surgery by the surgeons whenever surgeon provides in season this causes uh, insult to the skin muscles and the organs which also causes inflammatory process and causes injury to the muscles compression immobilization due to fracture surgery pregnancy hypoxia deficiency of perfusion of a lack of poor perfusion of we can say muscles can also cause their injury all all right then comes the non traumatic causes decreased atp all right decreased atp causes decreased energy or can cause energy crisis okay so in case of hypoglycemia there will be decreased atp then is the uh, vigorous exercise some guys in the gym try to impress the females their counter female uh, counterpart females uh, by making competition in the gym and do a vigorous training army soldiers uh, students participating in the marathon then sepsis due to bacterial or viral infection seizures as you know seizures cause vigorous uh, we can say shaking activity of the muscles therefore causing very heavy use of atp substance abuse include uh, cocaine etc so these traumatic and non traumatic causes can cause atp deficiency and also can damage the sarcolemma the cell membrane of the muscle cells myocytes is known as sarcolemma this gets damaged and we know that cells are the bag of potassium so when the cells uh, cell wall is get, uh, get damaged all the cellular content gets exocytosized and comes out for example sodium comes out potassium comes out and the myoglobin present in the muscle cells also come out okay then we discuss about the we will discuss about the pathophysiology under the pathophysiology as you can see as soon as the sarcolemma or the cell membrane gets damaged mitochondria fails okay which causes sodium potassium atp is pump to fail all right i will discuss it by making a diagram over here so as you know that sodium potassium atp is pumps are present on all the cells of the body this is mitochondria producing atp atp is used by these sodium potassium atps pump calcium pumps to shift sodium out and take potassium inside all right also the calcium is pumped out by these calcium atpases or sodium potassium atpases whenever there is injury to the mitochondria by the trauma by the non traumatic causes whatever so mitochondria fails atp fails so these pumps don't work properly which causes accumulation of sodium inside the cells whenever there is sodium accumulation there is water accumulation also which causes edema which causes edema peripheral edema 
uh, edema on the side, also the symptom of the inflammation. All right. Also, the potassium goes out. Potassium is now heavily present in the extracellular content. Okay. Also, note down that calcium is also not able to go out. Accumulation of calcium. Accumulation of calcium causes, yes, accumulation of cause, uh, calcium causes accumulation of protease enzymes. Protease enzymes are enemy of mitochondria. So, more damage to mitochondria will occur leading to deficiency of ATP leading to deficiency of ATP sodium potassium pumps fail edema then accumulation of calcium causes further damage to mitochondria further decrease in uh, ATP level okay potassium comes out along with myoglobin myoglobin is now carried by the blood towards the kidney kidney uh, uh, can get damaged renal failure can occur due to heavy myoglobin level potassium uh, uh, comes out in the plasma which is very harmful for the heart hyperkalemia under the hyperkalemia dysrhythmia arrhythmias can occur which can cause heart damage or uh, dysfunction of the heart rhythm all right along with that the blood lactic acid we know that the lactic acid is the byproduct of the cell wastage so cell metabolism so blood acidic lactic acid level will increase creatinine level will increase creatinine is one of the important proteins present uh, or the we can say waste product of the muscular activity by 3 to 5 percent so till now we had discussed about the introduction of the rhabdomyolysis it's uh, uh, we can say causes under the traumatic and uh, non-traumatic then pathophysiology then comes the diagnosis diagnosis as i had told that potassium comes out in heavy amount which can cause ecg changes ecg uh, ecq changes that is wide qrs complex okay so complex qrs complex will be wide the gap between qrs complex will increase all right then is blood potassium level will increase normal is this much coca cola color urine this question is asked in uh, that is uh, nclex rn exam next generation norset exam government job exam coca cola color brown color urine will be there because kidneys are now handling myoglobin which can cause renal failure then is the increase in the creatinine kinase level in an enzyme present in the skeletal muscles so till now we had discussed about the that is uh, rhabdomyolysis crush injury syndrome now we will discuss about the nursing management of this condition all right so let's begin our nursing intervention or management as we know that there is lot of fluid and electrolyte imbalance so iv fluid administration will be our top priority under this, we will administer normal saline, ringer lactate, dextrose 5%. Dextrose to maintain the blood glucose level or ATP in order to provide ATP energy. Uh, dextrose 5% will be uh, administered. Ringer lactate and normal saline in order to neutralize the increased potassium level. After that, the nurse will check the intake output, which should must be 30 ml per hour. 30 ml per hour. Uh, should be there and always check for the Foley's catheter infection if there are any chances because I had already told you that infection can occur uh, uh, the, or the sepsis can be the cause of rhabdomyolysis after that in order to treat the bacterial or viral infection administer antibiotics analgesics all right then most important point are these two points keep focus on these two points administer bicarbonates in order to neutralize the increased or we can say we can decrease the potassium level as potassium is very much dangerous for the heart then if all these treatment options don't uh, show any good or positive result go for hemodialysis or peritoneal dialysis in which the machine uh, itself remove the dialyzer itself remove the increased potassium level 
एंड माओग्लोबल लेवल ओके अंडर दी हेल्थ एजुकेशन एजुकेट द पेशेंट अबाउट दी रेस्ट बिकॉज मोर दी रेस्ट लेस विल बी द लेस विल बी द स्केलेटल मसल एक्टिविटी लेस विल बी द पोटाशियम रिलीज लेस विल बी द माओग्लोबिन रिलीज सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट दी रेबिडो मायोलाइसिस और क्रश इंजरी सिंड्रोम now we are uh, updating our technology system under the 4k format and providing you full resolution videos kindly share our video our channel link with all your classmates friends in order to support us your support and love help us to get motivated and um, work more and more and more whether it is summer whether it is winter we are committed to provide you best of best full quality high definition 4k resolution videos check in this setting under the high quality resolution our video quality thank you very much for watching this video